Welcome to Sacred Magic. Violet is on a quest to bring sacredness back into our everyday experiences. Anyone can have an extraordinary life when they're able to tap into their sacred magic within. Violet and her guests will be sharing their divine passions, inspirations, and stories of connecting with their sacred magic. We are so happy you have joined us today. Let's get started with your host, the magical creator of Discover Your Spiritual Gifts, Violet Rain. Welcome to Sacred Magic Podcast. I am your host, Violet Rain, and my guest today is Lisa Alexander, who is a quantum metaphysician, creator, and practitioner of the Alexander Method of Vibrational Sound and Energy Therapy. Her unique advanced program bridges the gaps between science and spirituality to offer healing services through each layer of our existence. An advocate for improved living, Alexander calls on a diverse personal and professional history to serve individual clients and provide transformational speaking, coaching, and advisory services. Welcome, Lisa, to the show. Thank you. And I'm sorry, my I'm in this remote location and I just saw deer run by and my little dog ran to the door and my friend is here. She was going to let him out, which would have meant he would have been gone chasing the deer. <laughs> so I had to like, no, don't let him out. The last thing I do is run to the woods trying to find my dog. So, uh, so thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so grateful to be here and grateful to be invited for this. So, well, thank you for connecting with us today. Cause I know you're out there doing healings and shamanic work and all that. So what an amazing way to get you on the show. So talk to us a little bit about your journey, because I don't think we all get to the same place the same way. And most people that are listening, some are just starting their journey. Some are not sure where they're going. So share with us what got you to doing what you do today. Okay. You know, it's funny because if you would have asked me like 15 years ago, if I would have been doing healing work, I would have said, ask what drugs are you on? Um, You know, it was just not in my scope of things. And interestingly enough, the very remote location that we're at right now, I was living at when I had my spiritual awakening. And it was in this very living room, the house is going through some transitions, but I was in this very living room where I um, was this close to taking my life. Um, the whole world had fallen apart from me. Um, I lost everything and everyone in a very short time, you know, baby, my husband, my, just everything one way or another betrayals. My parents died. My car, my dog got run another, one of my other dogs got run over by a car. It was just like, bam, 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 bam. This house, this very house I'm sitting in now is in foreclosure. We had already lost a farm, literally lost the farm. And I was sitting in this living room with another little dog, like I had, and, um, I had a gun in my hand. And I didn't know what to do. I had no, no, no money left, no, no family left. Uh, I was at wit's end. And this little guy, uh, well, he's actually the reincarnation of the one I had, um, crawled up in my lap and licked my tears away. And yeah, I'm thinking about it. And at that moment, I went down and said, I, I, if I leave, no one's going to take care of you. So I got on my hands and knees on this very floor that we're in. It's so interesting that this happened here. No, no one's ever, I haven't been here in a long, long time. No one's ever interviewed me here. So this is very, very special and magical. I, on my hands and knees, I called out to God, source, creator, all that is, whatever you want to call it. And I said, that's it. I'm done. Put a fork in me. You know, you either got to show me what my mission here is on this earth. I was 48 years old. So I was going through that transition time. That's, that's a kind of transition time in the, in the Chinese ruins, ruins. And I, um, just was in complete surrender. I was stripped down raw and said, send me a sign. Two days later, I got a piece of mail because this was, uh, so I'm going to be 60 in September. So this was 12 years ago. Um, I got a piece of mail, snail mail from my homeopathic doctor several towns away saying, hey, I'm into something new. Come check it out. And I went and checked it out. And there was this quantum metaphysician speaker who did sound therapy with tuning forks. And I just was resonating with him. And it, then it everything just started shifting and changing rapidly when I started picking up these forks and started playing with it. You know, angels came to me, guides came to me, you know, full on with my, my eyes, not my third eye, and uh, started guiding me through this process. And here we are 12 years later. 
Wow. What a powerful, powerful story. Um, I know that I love to use tuning forks and sounds. So talk to us about how does sound help us? What is it about sound therapy that's so good for all of us? What is your perspective? Well, I, as, as you're very well familiar, sound is the beginning of the universe. I mean, the big bang, you know, it was sound, you know, God said, let there be light. So the word came first and in the Hindu scriptures, you know, Vishnu was awoken by the, the rumble and vibration of the sound of Om underneath him, you know, so there's so many sacred traditions that all talk about sound and our ancestors, our ancient ancestors certainly understood the power of sound to go into trance and for healing and the vibrations and you know we now have uh, science to back all of this up you know our ancients knew this without the science but we have the science now that you know it, at the very least the medical community will say it will reduce stress well at the same time the medical community says stress is like 95 percent of the underlying cause of all disease so right there, that's such a benefit, but, you know, it just helps bring the nervous system back into, sorry, it just helps bring the nervous system back into alignment, uh, your parasympathetic system, um, rather than your sympathetic system just kind of gets uh, uh, stimulated. It works on the parietal lobes where we lose that track of time. It helps connect left and right hemispheres of the brain. So we're thinking more in oneness, you know, we've seen anxiety and depression and you know sound is in all kinds of forms so whether it's tuning forks because i have at my my main office I have gongs and singing bowls for the big sound bass but when i work on an individual with this particular uh, methodology it's a very specific sequence of sounds a very specific frequency done in a in a, in a very specific way and when we do that we, we get repeatable results from people I love that. I love that. So how is a quantum metaphysician different from a sound therapist or people working with sound? Because you're talking about that there's a methodology to what you're doing. So share with us how that's different and where this has come about. Okay. So basically a uh, uh, meta just means, you know, it's really tapping into the invisible world. So, and with these sound frequencies, they're a very, a much higher frequency. So I love my gongs and my singing bowls. They're just so amazing, but they're then therefore more for grounding, right? Clearing and grounding where the higher frequencies put us more in touch with our angels and our guides in those realms. So as we raise our vibrational frequency, they can come down kind of here to meet us. And when we meet in that place, we can just access information, the Akasha, the Akashic records. So when we're working on our clients, we will literally just get such accurate information for them, whether it's their current life, the past life. I mean, I predicted births and deaths and um, illnesses. And it's just amazing when you're in that space of raising that vibrational frequency and it works faster than you know years of affirmations or years of meditation so it's kind of a hack you know it's kind of that sound hack to get your vibrations higher and and get you to that state where you can access that information and be your own guru you know gurus g-u-r-u g-u-r-u so we help empower people so that they're not running to the mediums and the psychics where they are vibrating high enough that they can tap into that information for themselves I love that. I love that. So you talked about how a little bit about how the ancients use sound. Can you go a little further and how they use this for healing and ceremony and what you have found in your studies? Sure. The um, probably the best the best version of that I think of the um, Aboriginal people in Australia because they are the longest continuing civilization that we know, and you know they had that didgeridoo. And they use it for healing. They use it for trance work, you know, to, to go into the, the other worlds. And they still to this day do that, you know, and drumming, you know, so we found, you know, some of the oldest instruments we found are the drums back into Africa, you know, and, and the drumming. Um, then we found in Germany, they found flutes made from vulture bones, you know, 60,000 years old. 
and and sound came before you know before we had language we grunted and groaned we made sounds and you know what i often tell people what's the first thing you do when you hurt yourself ow right you yell out a sound that's the the whole body saying okay let's send chemicals to this area to you know help with the inflammation or, or something like that so um all, you know all cultures i'm on right now we're on indian land here and you know the indians with the flutes and the drums and you know they just knew that vibration of sound so i just find it so sacred no matter how you use sound sound is just a magical thing i love that i love that so you talked a little bit about how we can access the past lives through sound which i find fascinating because mm -hmm. i do akashic records and i do sound healing but i've never thought of the combination together so share that a little bit with us well, that's part of master skills. My master skills students would be a little uh, disappointed if I shared their secrets that they've <laughs> taken years and years to get to. Um, but what we're we're working in with the tuning forks, we work in a very specific way in the chakras, and we kind of open up the chakras with the with the spin of the fork. We don't. The energy does. Like I have very special holders on the ends of my tuning forks that you're barely holding it, kind of like a pendulum. So it it, it moves or doesn't move with the energy, which is how we know where the block is but what happens is if we kind of open up that chakra like a little uh, filing system and we can go in there and I, I teach them a very specific way of of accessing and making sure that the information is correct so it has to do with the blocks that we find in the body and then we kind of open up that chakra to to look into to the akashic record and to see you know what was it a past life or was it trauma in this life or is it something you're holding on repressing um and you know interestingly in the last couple of years not only am I seeing past life blocks and stuff come up, I'm seeing interdimensional lives. I'm seeing lives in other planets. And, you know, from there, I have a different set of tuning forks that brings us into a theta state. I'm actually a theta healer as well, but we use the sounds like a binaural, acoustic binaural beat. And it brings them into that theta state where we can guide them deeper so they can access all that knowledge, which is already in them. So, so is this something that you've created that you've worked on that's part of your creation or is it something that you've went out and learned no i um i did train originally by that person that i i spoke about and i was so disappointed in in so many ways i wasn't it wasn't complete you know so i'm a libra so i have to be balanced um and he was just using the six sacred tones of the sefeggio because that's the book of numbers i said well we're working up the chakras there's six well, what about the crown the crown's really important now interesting at that speaking event when i went I met a woman and while he was speaking, she she blurted out, I keep hearing deconstruction before reconstruction. And I turned to her and I said, you just described my life, right? Because my life was deconstructing. And she said, oh, you're the reason I'm here. And I said, what do you mean I'm the reason you're here? She said, I live all the way in New Jersey. We're in Pennsylvania. She said, I live all the way in New Jersey, two and a half hours away. She said, spirit roused me out of bed this morning, told me I had to drive all the way out here to put some light worker on her path. It must be you. And I'm like, at this point, I didn't under, understand or believe any of this stuff. I'm just like, whoa, what's going on? And, you know, afterwards, we said, we're going to get together and have coffee afterwards. And we continued a relationship. She never charged me. She was an amazing intuitive and uh, or psychic. And she kind of said, you're going to, one day she said, you're going to develop something new and different that's right timing. This, is, this was 2011. This was right before we were hitting that 2012 exchange of times. And she said, and, and that's what this new earth, this new planet needs is this higher vibration. And you're going to discover something like, oh, now she's, now she's not, now she's not on. I don't know what she's talking about. Sure enough, a few years later, when I'm trying to figure this out and understand, and understand I went to mentors, sound professors, archaeoacoustic, archaeoacoustic uh, uh, people. And, you know, we, so we were doing brain scans, we were testing out my work, but it drove me nuts that I didn't have this particular frequency for the crown. So when I worked the math on the Cephegio frequencies, trying to figure out what would be that, that frequency, it turned out it was 963. And that's when a, uh, a light bulb went off over my head and realized, oh, that's what she must've been talking about. Cause I was born nine, six, September 63, 963. So I called up my manufacturer. Now everyone sells that fork now, but this was going back 12 years. And I said, I, I need you to add this to the Sofagio set. And when I added that set, or added that one frequency, man, everything just took off for myself, for my clients. People were having out-of-body experiences. And 
And um, so, yeah, so it, I, I developed it over a number of years. It didn't <laughs> My guides were coming in. I mean, one day I was working on a client, um, actually at a kind of high-end resort here, and I was still playing with the, the what I was doing. And I literally had my, one of my guides' hands grab my hand, and I'm feeling it and showing me how to do this particular um, thing. So I don't take credit for it. I am just the vessel, the channel that brought it through. So, and I then found that. the science to back it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. I think that's awesome. I think that's really awesome. So talk to us a little bit about, you know, you said earlier, sound has been proven and the medical community talks about stress. How can this help with stress and anxiety and so much more? You know, it really brings our nervous system into balance. So most of my clients fall asleep and everyone's got these aura rings now. So it's nice. We can even track that. And we find that they fall asleep or else they get into a state where their body's asleep, but they're consciously aware. And that's actually how you do astral travel and leave your body. Um, they just find that they... Um, just get into the sense of peace. And we have brain scans that we're going to be putting up on my website in the next few weeks to go along with my, my book. My book comes out in August. It's called Get Forked. And um, and we, we can see the before and after how their brain is like hyperactive, that monkey mind before tuning. And then after a, a 90 minute session, it's a 90 minute session, their, their brain just relaxes. And they're just like, ah, in this beautiful bliss state. And, and when we hit it, when our brain goes into a theta state, that's where we can put new suggestions in, new affirmations. That's also where that's a healing state. So that's where the body has that time to really heal. So can people use tuning forks themselves on themselves or do they need a practitioner? You can absolutely use tuning forks on your on yourself. Now to do this entire this entire 90 minute session, you can't do on yourself just because you can't, you know, move around and do all that. Um, so you know, as practitioners, we do exchanges and we do work on each other um to keep each other tuned. But um the gift that I'm giving for your viewers shows you great simple ways to get started with tuning forks that'll help balance your brain, help bring you into a calm state with with very inexpensive tools. Um tuning forks are you still want quality medical grade tuning forks, which we sell, but they're, you know, like a $50 fork as opposed to, you know, a $3,000 gong, you know, and, and you can put it in your purse and, and take it with you. So don't, don't, don't let me fool you. I love my gongs. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but, um, I, a little uh, ebook, it'll show them ways to get started. So you don't necessarily need a practitioner, but when you want to really, go out into the deep woo-woo land um, and do the past life regression and do all that stuff and, and having a practitioner uh, to guide you through that and to help you and to find those blocks is recommended. So are there practitioners around the world? Can this be done distant? Does it need to be done in person? Because we have viewers that are around the world and how can they learn how to do this themselves, become their own practitioner? Okay. Yeah, we can do remote. We learned through in COVID that we can definitely do this remotely because we know, you know, energy is, is non-local. So we can definitely do it remotely. I do these remotely and I can still find all the blocks and do everything. And people say they feel, they feel everything on the other end. I do have uh, practitioners. I don't, uh, Canada and the United States. So we haven't gone uh, out internationally yet. Uh, we're, we were ready to do that. And then COVID hit. So a lot of our classes were, were canceled, but if they want to learn to take, I have different programs at, at all kinds of levels on my uh, website, there at lisaalexander.com. There's a tab for online courses and you can just look through there and see what resonates with you. And we do in some of them are some of the smaller classes just work on the physical body that especially for massage therapists can incorporate that into something that can be all done online. But the big practitioner stuff for this big energy healing, this stuff I've been talking about, that's a combination of online because we we're, like my manual is like 160 pages long. It's amazing. We teach a lot and we go through a lot of the science so that 
the practitioner can talk intelligently about it and, and, and prove it to the non-believers, but then there's a hands-on portion and, and that's where you need to work live. And, you know, we have a body on the table. I'm working with you. I only have a few other uh, people I've gotten certified to teach. So this is a good time to get into this because we are looking for teachers because we're starting to get called to go to these larger places to teach and I need to bring teachers. So this is like, yeah, this is like ground floor. This is like the perfect time. Um, we just, we just launched the teacher sort of a teaching sort of a uh, certification program last year. So yeah, this is a great time to get in here because I'm going to need to bring people along. I'm not one of those standing at the, at the front and just telling you what to do. I like a a, a, a teacher at each table with the students so because sometimes we got to grab your hands just like that guy did and show you what to do so yeah good yeah time I love here. that I love that well I definitely think it would have value in our center with all of our because I took a theta class too I took one theta class I didn't go very far because I felt like I had other tools that would do the same thing that they were teaching um mm -hmm. the Akashic Records is a powerful way to do root work right and so I was like I can get there a different way um that resonates with it so I'm always looking for new things to learn I love to learn so I'll yeah, have to I'll have to check that out Lisa because I love the combination of the sound because I love sound I do sound bass today like you I wouldn't give up my gongs or my singing bowls for anything but I also love my tuning forks I have a whole <laughs> collection oh, so <laughs> yeah, a whole set, lots of different sets and all the different frequencies. Cause I love playing with all the different frequencies and working with clients. So it sounds amazing. So I'll have to check that out. Do you know when your book is going to be released? Because yes. and who is publishing it for you? It's going to be released in August. It's bestseller publishing. So we're the book is in design phase right now. So sometime in August, I don't have an exact date, but yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll be out and it's it's called get forked um it's kind of a fun fun play on on the forks and it's um what took about a year to write and I'm, I'm very excited to finally get the book out uh, people have been asking me for a long time to write the book but I was so busy with clients and students and wanted to work with them uh, so I you know with COVID and all that uh, you know we, we finally got some time I guess I guess there was some some benefits there and I'm hoping it'll help everybody and I'm really you know i I'm really hoping to spread this, you know, that vibration, like throw the pebble in the lake, which is right down there. Um, I, I needed to get that vibration out because now that I've been teaching it for a number of years, I'm seeing my practitioners sending me emails and testimonials and, and I'm seeing, they're so excited. They're calling me up. Oh my gosh, this happened to my client. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this. This is so sacred. We love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I need more people doing the work because even though we can do remote live is always best, isn't it? You know? It is. It is. Yeah, I, so we really want to get more practitioners. I'm not getting any younger. I turned 60 in September. So um, let's get more practitioners out there doing this work and raising the vibration because this planet, this earth, everything needs it. I love that. I love that. Well, please put me on your communication list when your book gets released because I'd love to have it in our retail store. So put me on the list to reach out. Um, because I would love to have it in the store. I'll also check out your classes and stuff because I'd love to have some practitioners in Denver doing this work and lots of people are in the sound. Be great. Yeah, so. Yeah, you're in a great place in Colorado and I would love to come out to Colorado. I love Colorado. I'd love to come out there to facilitate a class and get you going so that I have instructors there. That would be awesome. So. Yeah, I would love that. Let's definitely talk about that because- a book signing would be great. A class would be great to have some in-person teaching here. Uh, I would love to host you in the center and get some of that off the ground. So definitely let's connect because I think there would be people very interested. I just did a retreat in May on sound and sound healing. So we had we had ladies up in the mountains doing sound healing on each other. So there's definitely an interest in my um, center because I do a lot of that, that people want to learn more about it and understand more about it. So yeah, I, I definitely think there would be people interested in doing that. So we should definitely do that. <clears throat> so I know that you're in a remote place doing fun things today, so I'm not going to keep you, but 
you know, we'll have her website on the bottom. Make sure you look at the description. She is offering a free information on Teachable that you can connect in with um, that is very valuable. So we thank her for that. Lisa, thank you so much for being on the show today. I look forward to meeting you in person because I know that's going to happen at some way, somehow. Um, and if you travel to Denver, my husband and I love to host our guests. So we have two guest rooms. We'll actually get you saddled and take care of you while you're here. You just got to get here. So okay. we're happy to do that. We love our people that come in from out of town that do things at our center. We have that happen a lot. So we love our out of town guests. So I hope you'll keep us on your schedule. We'd love to have you out um, in I Denver. Would be, I would be blessed and honored. And thank you so much for the invitation. Um, you're just a, a gem and a joy. And to have you right there in the center of the country in Colorado is a blessing beyond belief. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for everyone watching today. I hope you'll follow us, like us, comment. That helps us uh, in our show. We do appreciate our li listeners. We hope that you have a magical day and week, and we hope to see you really soon. Thank you for watching. Are you seeking an online spiritual education resource? Do you crave to know more about various topics of spirituality? Discover Your Spiritual Gifts Academy offers a wide variety of programs, including Crystal Alchemy, Tarot, The Journey of the Fool, Akashic Record Reading Certification, and much more. These online courses allow you to learn on your schedule and at your own pace. You can find out more at www.discoveryourspiritualgifts.academy. Thank you for joining us. To find out more about Violet, head over to discoveryourspiritualgifts.com. You can also send a personal message to Violet through email, violet at discoveryourspiritualgifts.com. If you love the show, subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. Until next time, remember, we are meant to have abundant and joyful lives. We hope to see you soon at Discover Your Spiritual Gifts.